happy French Friday to you, my friends. Okay, friends, some of you may remember and saw the sneak peek of last French Friday that I posted this picture in the community section on YouTube. In my last video, we gave the cabinet above my tub a makeover and we also installed new flooring in the bathroom. Today, we will be giving my bathroom vanity a makeover, adding trim around the mirror, and a quick trash to treasure makeover as well from a thrifted find. So first, before I get started painting, I will wipe crud cutter all over the cabinets to remove the gloss. This is a surface preparation before painting. I will be using this fusion paint and the color is French eggshell. It is an all-in-one paint. It is foundation to finish, so no primer needed or sealer with this paint. Thank you to those of you who left me comments on what color I should paint the vanity. Some of you said white, which I really considered doing white, and the only reason why I decided not to was because we painted all the walls in the bathroom and the trim are white, and then our bathtub is white, our shower, and also the counters, the countertop, and the uh, our sinks are white as well. And I just felt like it would be a lot of white and uh, it would just kind of blend in. It really wouldn't um, stand out at all. And it would kind of get lost, if you know what I mean. And then some said black, which I also considered painting it black. And uh, But the majority of you said um, paint it the same as I painted the cabinet above the bathtub when I did that makeover last time and uh, which is the French eggshell so that is what I have decided to paint um, the vanity is in that same color the French eggshell and I really am loving this color and my husband agreed uh, with you all on the French eggshell color and so did my mom so it was a uh, majority vote I guess that won it over and I did agree that I thought that it would uh, tie it all together very nicely. So here I am painting in this same color and I am loving it. I think it looks so pretty in here. Okay, I wanted to put little feet on the bottom of this cabinet to make it look a little bit more like a furniture piece. And I found these cute little feet on Amazon and they come in a set of four for $20. So $5 each, I just couldn't even believe it could not even believe the price on these. I think these are so pretty. And of course, I wanted the little curvy feet to go with my French flair that I have going on throughout my home. And so these were absolutely perfect. I love them. I did forget to mention earlier that I ended up putting two coats of paint on the vanity cabinet. I only videoed uh, the first coat, but I did two coats and then that was perfect. Uh, and gave very good coverage on the cabinet. And I'm gonna do the same here with the little feet. I'm gonna, uh, after the first coat dries, I'm gonna put the second coat on and I'll do the second coat off camera. And then um, I will be putting on a white wax from uh, Waverly and you'll see that in just a moment. I'll only be putting the white wax on the rose part here, as you can see, and then after I paint it on with a brush. I just wipe it off with a paper towel so that it just leaves it down in the cracks and little crevices just so that that rose detailing will stand out a little bit more. Okay, next I'm going to be using this black and white towel Waverly fabric that I already had on hand so I didn't have to go out and purchase it. I'm just trimming it off a little bit and cutting it to the size that I need. And now I am using my hot glue gun here to um, kind of hem the edges without sewing. So this project is a no sew project for those of you who don't sew like myself. So this is super easy to do. 
and it's super fast as well. Okay, I thought I would use these uh, clip-on metal uh, little curtain rings here and then I decided against it because I really didn't like the way it looked. I could see my pipes underneath the sink and yeah, I just decided against it. So I wanted more of the clean look and not to see all that under there. So I am cutting little pieces of fabric and I'm going to attach it also with the hot glue and I'm just gluing the top and the very bottom of the little piece of fabric so that I leave the center open so that I can put my curtain rod through that area that I have not glued down. So I'm making a pocket really for the curtain rod I guess if that's um, what you call it I'm not sure and uh, it will also give me a really nice little pleated uh, gathered look to the top of my curtain as well and I purchased these handles to put on the cabinet. I purchased these new ones at Lowe's and they fit perfectly so I didn't have to uh, fill in um, the old screw holes where my old uh, handles were and so I was able to just put these right in place and that worked out perfect. I wanted to put a frame around this mirror and a subscriber also mentioned that I should put a frame around the mirror and I totally agreed because I was thinking the same thing before she even mentioned it and so my hubby put a frame, uh, trimmed it out, put a frame around it for me and so um, I did not get that on video but I did get uh, me painting, painting it um, on video. So. That is what I'm working on here is just um, getting that trim that's around the mirror painted and here it is all finished and a little bit closer look here and I think it just really frames the mirror out nicely. Okay now for our trash to treasure project here. I picked up this picture at the thrift store for $3.99 but they actually gave me 25% off of that price because of this metal part down here being broken. So I'll be using E6000 glue to attach this. That works great for metal. So I'll be gluing that first before I begin painting. I will be turning this thrifted uh, picture into a bathtub tray. I wanted a bathtub tray for my bathtub, but I wanted something that's different, something unique. And so I'm gonna make this um, into that, and it is the perfect length that I need. And uh, there's so many different things you could do with this project. I could have uh, used some kind of wallpaper on it or a paint stencil uh, on it. Or you can also use like um, drawer liner or shelf liner uh, and attach that to this. So there's so many different things you could do and ideas I thought about while, while doing this project. And I also thought about attaching handles um, to each uh, end at the top of the tray on each end but I think that these black metal pieces on the ends really act as handles so I don't think it's necessary for me to do that I, I could always add that later if I wanted to but I think I'm gonna leave those um, as handles for now I wanted to quickly mention that I used a chalk paint in the white color and I put two coats on both sides in that and then I'm using this black matte uh, finish in the apple barrel uh, paint on the on the edges and as well as the metal handles on each end okay so for this project I have decided to use something that I already had which is this black and white uh, twill tissue paper that I actually got at the antique store when I bought the French eggshell paint that I was using on the cabinet. Uh, she always puts in that black and white tissue paper when you purchase something at her store, at the antique store. So um, I just think it's so pretty and I'm just going to reuse that and uh, 
basically recycle or upcycle this uh, tissue paper and it matches so nice here in the bathroom anyways and so I think this will look really pretty so I'm using Mod Podge in a matte finish to attach it and then I'm also going to be putting that a coat of it on top actually I'm going to be putting two coats on top and uh, I think I only did one coat uh, on camera but I did the second coat off camera and then I also did the Mod Podge on the back side as well just to help protect and seal this project and here's the before and after and I think it turned out really nice Here's the bathroom vanity all finished and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I hope that you also enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching the process of, of the makeover and I think what a difference paint can make and it's such an inexpensive way to give a room a makeover. And uh, if you watch all the way to the end of this video, you will see the before and after pictures of the vanity uh, side by side so that you really can compare and see the difference of the transformation. And it was very uh, inexpensive, um, like I said, because I already had the paint. I used the same paint that I painted the cabinet above the tub. And the cabinet above the tub received two coats of paint, and so did the vanity. And I still have paint left over that I can use on another project. So um, it goes a long way. That little tiny jar, it's amazing. And then the, the little handle poles um, were inexpensive at Lowe's. And then so were the little feet. And then the fabric, like I said, I already had that. So that was no cost um, for this project. And so, um, yeah, it's amazing what paint can do, right? And I uh, hope you will stay all the way to the end to watch and to see that difference.
to wrap up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed Easter weekend. And if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And also don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Okay, friends, that's going to do it for today. I hope uh, that you will join me next French Friday. Until then, au revoir.